Tonight, we peel back the curtain on dams in Vermont and look at who is in charge of making sure they're up to snuff. There are 1,200 of them in the state. Dams that generate power are regulated by either the federal government or the Vermont Public Utility Commission. The rest are under the jurisdiction of the Vermont Natural Resources Agency. The Marshfield Dam in Cabot is regulated by the PUC, but town officials downstream in Plainfield say they wish it wasn't. Our Kiana Burks tells us why. Officials in Plainfield are questioning who should be in charge of dams like this, holding back all this water, keeping the towns, homes and businesses below safe from a flood event. The Marshfield Dam is a nearly century old hydroelectric earthen dam owned by Green Mountain Power. It holds back 397 acres of water, forming the Marshfield Reservoir, a popular boating and fishing site. And I just really enjoy the water and the natural environment. I like to listen to the sounds of nature. Uh, the splash of the water on the paddles, the, the call of the loons, the, the flight of the eagles overhead and the splashing of the big bass and the beavers. But the dam sits upstream from the communities of Plainfield, Marshfield and Callis, leaving thousands in the flood path should the dam fail. No one is suggesting the dam is currently unsafe, but some town officials in Plainfield are questioning how the safety of the dam is regulated by the state. The, the fact that it's a power generating dam gives it a less stringent safety protocol than if it were a regular dam. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because this dam is regulated by the Public Utility Commission, it only has to be inspected every five years, and the inspection is managed by GMP. The Plainfield officials say other dams regulated by the Agency of Natural Resources are inspected every two years, and they have their own dam safety engineers on staff to address any issues. Supposed to inspect it every five years and provide a report from an engineer that, in fact, the power company has hired to do the inspection so that person is beholden to the person they're working for and often they are not as as extensive or as critical as they could be i think the regulation the regulatory scheme right now is inadequate house representative mark mahali who represents the washington district says he agrees with the plainfield town officials and is interested in drafting legislation that would require that anr take over i think the dam safety division of the agency of natural resources is really excellent they have engineering expertise they regulate frequently they have engineers that they uh, use and even if they use consulting engineers, they have the internal skill to supervise them. Officials from Green Mountain Power, the utility company that owns the Marshfield Dam, say that whether or not the switch happens, they'd be fine either way. Across all of our hydro facilities in Vermont, GMP already follows the most stringent federal rules for our facilities and that will continue. Kyle Landis Marinello, a general counsel for the Public Utility Commission, says he understands the town's concerns and that while safety is a top priority for the commission, there could be benefits of having the regulation of Vermont's dams be centralized under ANR. The Agency of Natural Resources has in-house expertise. They have dams, uh, dam experts on staff in a program that looks at all of the dams across the state and there are some efficiencies to uh, having one agency look at that. He also says that nationally, Vermont is an outlier in the way it regulates dams. And the PUC has actually been in talks with ANR about making the switchover a reality. It's more common for there to be one state agency that looks at dam safety. And it, there was a national report that came out just at the end of last year that is recommending that as a best practice. And so we have been in discussions with the Agency of Natural Resources about moving towards that type of model. Engineers with ANR's dam safety team say the idea of the agency taking on the task is an interesting one, but not necessarily a priority. PUC officials say that legislation to change up the state's regulatory process Process could be drafted as soon as January of 2024. Reporting in Cabot, Kiana Burks, Channel 3 News.